are you guys planning to buy a new android smart tv but maybe you don't know about that we can also create our own android smart tv by using raspberry pi 3 and that too in a very cheap price hey what's up guys this is linux Knox, and in this video i am going to show you how can we install lineage os unofficial version and we will need some of components required first of all we need raspberry pi 3b model a vga to hdmi converter a 32 gb micro sd card and a usb driver that is usb card reader for flashing the lineage os so we can download the unofficial version of lineage os from constructing.com a download link will be provided in the site and i will also provide the download link in the description so click on this link and here you will find the option click here to start download you will have to click on this option and it will show a server that is you have to select usa server for downloading this image file I have already downloaded the image file so I am not downloading it right now. Now you also be required Google Apps that is Open G Apps. I am here selecting the options. You have to select that option as it is. You have to select ARM64, Android 9 and the variant will be Pico. Make sure you have selected the Pico version and click on this download button to download the G Apps. For flashing the Lineage OS into the Raspberry Pi, you have to first format the SD card. So I am here using SD card formatter app for formatting the SD card. Make sure you have backed up your all data from the SD card then you are formatting your SD card. Scroll down below and you will find the accept the terms and conditions of SD card formatter. Click on accept and now you have to download this application we will use balina hr software for flashing the lineage os into the sd card now after formatting the sd card open the balina hr software which you have downloaded and it will take one to two minute time to open the app So here's the overall interface of Balena HR software. You have to select the image file of uh, which you have downloaded the lineage or zip file to select that image and click on open. As here you can see that the SD card is already been selected. So you have now to simply click on flash to start the flashing process of lineage OS into the SD card. So it will take a while to complete the overall flashing process. Let me show you that we can also install ATV launcher to get a clean interface of the smart TV into the Lineage OS. So please install this launcher also. I will provide the link in the description. Now after flashing, it will validate the overall uh, image file for the flashing process has been completed or not. Here as you can see that uh, the validation process is about to complete. So after validation it will uh, um, unmount the SD card. So after unmounting the SD card it will show you that the flash has been completed. So close this and now remove the SD card from the card reader and insert it in Raspberry Pi. So now plug in your Raspberry Pi with the power adapter, HDMI to VGA converter and using a mouse and a keyboard. So here's the welcome screen of the Lineage OS. 
make sure you have a monitor or you can use a TV with a VGA port for your smart TV. So here's the welcome screen of Lineage OS and uh, you will find you have some setups to do for the first boot. So now click on next to proceed further. Select your language. I am here selecting English United States and click on next. Select your time zone like I am from India so I am selecting time zone as Kolkata. And now click on next to proceed further and now it will ask you to connect to the internet but uh, I will prefer here that you not needed any internet connection right now. So click on next and uh, again it will ask for the location service click on next. So the overall setup has been completed click on skip to the first boot of lineage OS. So here's the welcome screen of Lineage OS installed in your Raspberry Pi. So after the first boot, you will find some of the pre-installed apps in it. And you will also get the notification panel just like an Android device. As you can see that there is a no Play Store application support in this operating system. So for installing Google Apps or we can say for installing the Play Store, go on settings and search for about tablet. In about tablet, you will find the build number. So click on this build number five to six times to enable the developer option of the Android device. So after enabling the developer option, click on system and here you will find the advanced option so click on this advanced option and here as you can see the developer option is there click on developer option so after entering the developer option you have to find the root access option there which will allow you to root or we can access the ADB setup So here's the root access is disabled so you have to select here apps and adb and you have to click on ok to allow the access after enabling the apps and adb option from the root access you have to search for the local terminal option inside the developer option so enable this option to get a local terminal into your lineage os so now check out the apps panel and here you will find the terminal application is there now click on this terminal application we have some commands to do for entering into the twrp recovery so here you have to allow the terminal for the first time now you have to type su that is super user and click on enter that then it will show you that privacy guard option is enabled so now click on remember my choice and again click on allow now you have to type rpi3 hyphen recovery dot assist to enter into the twrp recovery into the system Now after hitting enter, you have to type reboot to reboot into the recovery part of this operating system. After rebooting the system, you will find the TWRP recovery. So now swipe to allow modification. Select mount and make sure you have take your uh, open G apps file into another uh, pen drive. So now here check out all the option and go back now you have to go on install so from here you have to select your pen drive storage 
that is a USB OTG storage and click on OK. So here you can see that OpenG apps 9.0 Pico version is there. So now swipe to confirm flash. So now the TWRP is been checking the OpenG apps file and uh, the flashing process of this G apps will be started. So it is mounting the pen drive. Now it is been flashing the code that is Play Store application into the Lineage OS. Now after completing the flashing process of G apps, it will unmount the partition and here you will get two options wipe Dalvik and reboot system. So you have to click on wipe Dalvik. Now swipe to wipe. Okay, now the system has been wiping the partition. So the overall wiping partition has been completed. Now you have to go on advanced and you will, here you will find terminal. So click on terminal and now type here rpi3-recovery.sh space boot. After typing the command, hit enter and the process will be completed. Now go back and here you have to search for reboot. Now click on system and it will reboot again with the Google Play Store installed in Lineage OS operating system. Now the Lineage OS system will boot again. So here it is the system has been rebooted and now let me show you that google play store is there so the google play store has been properly flashed into the lineage os operating system you can download any apps like youtube hotstar amazon prime into this operating system you just have to sign into your google account and get your work done i will provide a link for your raspberry pi remote also which will be helpful for operating your smart tv with raspberry pi remote so here i'm installing youtube into this lineage os and uh, as you can see youtube is also working here this is the welcome screen of youtube i have also tried ATV launcher installing it in lineage os and it works very fine you can access all that easily here as you can see it will give a clean interface of any smart tv so that's all for this video guys enjoy the video and please like share and subscribe thank you